Hey, blessings, prayer warriors. God bless you on this, the Lord's Day, February 11th. Ah, they're saying snow next week. Blah, it's been so nice, right? Unless you like snow. And there are pe many people that like snow and many people that plow snow. So anyway, God is good. Hey, services 9 and 11 today. Super Bowl Sunday with an S-O-U-P-E-R there. Wear your favorite jersey if you would like to. Let's get started here today. So, and we're reading uh, Matthew 26, 20 through 54. Go down to verse 26. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed and broke it, and he gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, us too, for this is my blood of the new covenant, a new covenant based upon better promises, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say to you, I will not drink of this fruit of the vine from now until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Woohoo! We're going to have a glass of wine with our Jesus in the new heaven or when we meet him up in the sky and get to go to heaven for the first time. It's going to be awesome. All right. So our uh, nation we're praying for today is our Arizona, 26% evangelical Christians there. Our prayer focus is Christian laborers. And our nation that we're praying for is East Timor, East Timor. All right. Let's go ahead and pray today. Father, we bless you and thank you for another day. Thank you, Lord, that as we continue to look up, as we're seeing things we never thought we would see in our lifetime, we are in faith, Lord, knowing that soon we'll be with you. Look, if it doesn't happen, Lord, in the next 20 years, many of us will be with you anyway. So our eyes are upon you. We are looking up. Live it in warp speed days. Scripture is being fulfilled. Our redemption draws nigh. And Lord, in that we praise you and we long to see our Savior's face. We long to be in your presence, to get out of this evil, disgusting world and be in the presence of Almighty God. This world is so beautiful when you pull sin out of the picture. But no matter where you go, no matter where they say it's a little piece of paradise, you'll always find sin even there. So today, in the midst of that, we say hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. Great things he is doing. Today, Lord, as we begin our time of prayer, I want to pray over these prayer cards and then the ones that will be coming in today. We pray for the needs of fellow brothers and sisters. We pray, Father, that those that have scales on their hearts, those that are just, they don't want to have anything to do with the kingdom of God, daughters, sons, I don't believe in that anymore. Of course you don't believe in that. You want to live in sin. It's the only reason people say that. But if they look within their hearts, there's always that void there that says there is truly a, a God. And I need to seek and find out who he is. And thank God we have found out who he is. He's Abba Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. We pray for those that need healing. We pray for those that need a job. We pray for those that need help, Lord, whatever it might be. We lift up these prayer requests before you. And we just thank you right now for needs being met as we pray one for another. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Lord, we lift up Christian laborers before you. And I pray this morning for Reverend Bob Buse as he's over in Asia. Uh, he, he's, he just said, keep me in prayer. It's tough doing this by himself. Wish he had a partner with him. To go, and I'm not talking about Gail here, I'm talking about another fellow in the Lord, another uh, co laborer together with him. So we pray for strength, we pray, says his health is doing good. We pray, Father, that you would continue 
to use him in a mighty way, Lord. And I thank you, thank you for that, Lord. Thank you, Father. He said, uh, Thailand arrived in Bangkok today. We'll be in Thailand all week. Ministry has been going super, although I wish there was someone with me to share the load. Many amazing and devoted people. Thank you for your prayers. Being, been healthy and rested each day. So praise God for that, Lord. We thank you. Thank you for that. We lift up, Lord, the nations before you. I pray for our nation that we're praying for, East Timor. We pray for Monaco, Italy, San Marino, Malta, Slavia, Hungary, Slovakia, and we pray for these nations, Lord. We pray, Father, for our world. Our world needs help, Lord. Oh, does it need help. We pray for Israel as we see more and more stuff going on, more and more. They're just amazing how many tunnels are under this beautiful land. They say it would be the, the Paris of the Middle East, this Gaza area. They say it could be so prosperous. Here Israel gave it to them, left the nurseries, left all the capital there, and they destroyed it and they built tunnels. Oh, the, pray for the Palestinian people, the children that are being brainwashed. Help them, Father, help them to see. We pray for Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and for the team there, Lord. And we just thank you for that. I pray that Israel stays connected and that Israel will look up, that they would seek the Lord Jesus Christ and be born again. And I thank you for that. We lift up the United States of America. I pray for Arizona. Again, we pray for the Christian laborers. So many come from our nation, Lord. And we pray that you would use them mightily. And I thank you. Thank you for that, Father. We pray for every state, and we pray, Father, for those that are in authority. We pray for Biden as he's losing it, Lord, that you would help him to see you, Lord. We, I, I feel, many people feel that he won't be running come August and uh, with the convention, Lord, that they'll pull him out at that point. But, Lord, we pray for his salvation. I pray for his wife, Jill. I pray for their family, Lord. I pray, Father, that this lifetime politician would see that that means nothing without having Jesus Christ as his Lord, personal Lord and Savior. I pray for all those that are in authority in the executive, legislative, and judicial branch of our government. We pray for our nation. Now we lift up ministries before you. I lift up Fellowship International Mission. Fellowship of Faith for the Muslims, Full Gospel Businessmen Fellowship, Finishing the Task, Focus on the Family, Food for the Hungry, Four Square Mission International. We pray for these works. We lift up our church services today, Lord. We lift up CFFC, every member, attender, guest, leader, MVP, the, all the ministry of helps, Lord, and on and on. We circle each and every person. We all have a part to play. We pray for this service, Lord, and we pray for all the food that will be coming in today to distribute to our area. And I just thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, for needs being met in Jesus' name. Now we thank you for this time together. I pray for my brothers and sisters, your shalom upon them. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his confidence upon you and give you his shalom. Father, I forgot to lift up the, the mission uh, groups. We lift up Rick Renner Ministries in Moscow. We lift up Today's Choice in Sussex County. And we lift up Voice of the Martyr Ministries, Lord, throughout our world. Thank you for that. Now as we wrap up, we give you the praise and the honor. We're going to come to church today to praise you, to glorify the name that's above every name. We love you, Lord. All hail the power of Jesus' name. Let angels prostrate forth. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him, Lord, the Lord of all. We love you, sir. We honor you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hey, God is good. Church, 9 and 11. You don't have to wear your favorite jersey. Some people 
don't come because they don't have a, a jersey. It's a fun time. If you want to put your favorite jersey on, go right ahead. Amen. God bless.